Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to first thank the government of Romania for hosting, hosting this important event in the beautiful Romania, and to congratulate the ITU for the excellent preparation. We have come here united in common cause to set ITU's digital agenda for the next four years and an agenda that benefits the planet and humanity. We do in the, indeed live in interesting times since we assembled four years ago. We have all been challenged with a global pandemic and uncertain economic times that has truly tested our resolve. But our experience in Qatar has shown us with the commitment and investment by leadership and rigorous planning process and partnership with stakeholders and international technology providers, progress is possible. Digital transformation is a fundamental to achieving Qatar's vision 2030 of an advanced society with high standard of living for people of Qatar today and generations to come. Therefore, we pledge our support for the ITU's proposed 2024-27 strategic goals and targets. While as a nation, we have achieved a great deal near universal broadband coverage and access to every household, 5G coverage, and nearly 100% usage of internet for individuals, we have a lot more work to do. One of Qatar's strategic property, uh, priorities is to increase the IT sector by 50% by 2024. However, one of the major challenges we face is accomplishing that is growing our talent of pool. In order to accelerate our digital transformation and the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology recently announced a collaboration with technology providers to train 50,000 people by the year 2025 with advanced digital skills. This program will spur innovation and contribute to Qatar's competitiveness. In addition, we are also conducting an assessment of the digital economy ecosystem to optimize growth opportunities imperative for economic diversification independent of hydrocarbons. ICT will play a major role in Qatar, Qatar's commitment to reduce carbon emission by 20% by 2030. In fact, although millions will visit Qatar for FIFA World Cup 2022, later this year, advanced technologies will allow this tournament to be carbon neutral for the first time ever. Plus, we developed special air cooling technology inside the stadiums to ensure the health and safety of all involved. Other key initiatives of note include Qatar's cloud-first policy that will strengthen the presence and regional reach of international cloud providers, and a renewed focus on protecting and securing our state-of-the-art infrastructure from cyber attacks with the establishment of an independent agency for cybersecurity. Anticipating the future during these uncertain times will test our imagination and creativity. Qatar is committed to working with the, IT, with the ITU and all the member states assembled here today to achieve our individual and mutual goals. Thank you.